good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video today we're continuing with the draft rebuilds and today we're gonna be starting another one with Wendell Carter jr. who was drafted by the Chicago Bulls which I think the Bulls really wanted Mohamed Bamba but he was unfortunately taken one pick before them by the Orlando Magic and I really hope Mohamed Bamba's career doesn't just die in Orlando because that's where uh, some prospects careers have known to die and as soon as they leave that team they're uh, Career start to, uh, you know, trend upwards. Example, Victor Lodipo, other guys as well. But, you know what? We got Wendell Carter Jr. And they also drafted Chandler Hutchinson. So, uh, very, uh, very good draft, Chicago Bulls. I think Wendell Carter Jr. will be uh, good for them now. I don't know if they will want to play him at the four and let Laurie Marketing play center because it looks like he's like a little two inches taller. But I would think what they're going to do is have Wendell Carter play the center position. Uh, and then Laurie Markkinen will still play that stretch big, stretch four, which is what you want. And then the Bulls actually aren't sold on Zach Levine quite yet, which is kind of crazy. I thought they would be, but they they aren't. So um, I guess uh, we'll have to work on that, see if we can get Zach Levine back, which I fully expect him to uh, extend Zach Levine when they can match any offer that he gets. And then uh, Chicago Bulls will uh, have a nice star in Zach Levine, I think. I think Zach Levine is going to be pretty good in this league. Uh, as soon as he, uh, I, I gave him kind of a pass last season because, you know, he was hurt, uh, came back from a, what was it, uh, ham, no, it wasn't a hamstring, Achilles, wasn't it Achilles or something like that, or MCL, ACL, or something like that, so, you gave him kind of a pass, but Noah Vonley probably won't be bringing you back, Zach Levine, absolutely want to match any offer that you get, and as far as the cap holes that are out here, Zach Levine's is out here, Noah Vonley, Probably won't be bringing you back. And other than that, we have about 29 million in cast base with Chris Dunn and Jerry and Grant. That is Jerry and Grant. Yes, uh, as the point guards, which is fine. We've got Justin Holiday as uh, the starting shooting guard, possibly. Tara Hutchinson, I do want to be the future starting shooting guard, but uh, probably we'll send him to the G League for this first season. Denzel Valentine, uh, Paul Zipser, Bobby Portis, Laurie Markinen, and Wendell Carter and Robin Lopez. So the center position is fine for now. Um, not really too worried about the center position the point guard i do like chris dunn at the point guard so uh that's fine with me as well the shooting guard could use some improvement justin holiday is good and all but i would like a better shooting guard at that position and then there's denzel valentine which i like him at the three as well but not ideal if you ask me so let's see if we can sign a three guard out or not a three guard but just a three out here kevin durant is available but obviously don't really want to do that i feel like a guy like tyreek evans would be very beneficial for this team uh maybe move him to the three but honestly i probably won't be doing that i probably won't be doing anything crazy this first off season i'm probably just gonna sign some filler players like a reggie bullock for as a backup would be uh pretty ideal let's see that let's see him come to the team and then as far as a shooting guard goes marcus smart would be a nice signing but he's just gonna want a lot of money so you don't want to throw a lot of money at a guy that can barely shoot the three ball JJ Redick will be Avery Bradley is an interesting signing, but I guess we will get, be getting Zach Levine back. I kind of just I kind of just slipped my mind. So let's get Reggie Bullock back, and then maybe we should just go ahead and sign Zach Levine right now, like to a just a contract extension, twenty three point eight five mil for four years. I would honestly give him five year deal if you can. He's only twenty three years old, so signing him as long as you can would be very beneficial. So five years. And then let's sign Reggie Bullock as well. And I think that's all we might be doing for this first offseason. Oh my god, what just happened? Alright, so. What just, did I get them? What, what just happened? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Zach Levine's still right there. That was weird. I don't know what just happened, but. Okay. And the small forward... Like, 2K automatically declined him for me, and I was just, you know, Reggie Bullock goes to the Rockets. So, we... Okay. That makes a ton of sense, 2K. We get Zach Levine back, I guess, but... I guess we don't necessarily need Reggie Bullock, but that was kind of stupid. Uh, Kyle Anderson for one year might be cool. He goes back to... Or he goes to the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks am intriguing... Is intriguing to watch this season with them having Trey Young now, but... Man, that was kind of weird. That kind of made me mad because Zach Levine should be here for five years. But oh well, what can you do? But this team is definitely a very young team and they're turning in the right direction, which is what you want to see if you're a Chicago Bulls fan. Robin Lopez is down two 
and then that's about Omir Ashik. I forgot you guys even had him still after the Nikola Miritich trade, but you know, you got a first round pick out of it, which I think turned into Chandler Hutchinson, so can't be too upset because I have a feeling Chandler Hutchinson has the ability to be pretty darn good in this league, so let's see how it goes. Training camps, untapped potential. Let's throw this at Wendell Carter because he's going to be playing right away, and then as far as Chandler Hutchinson goes, I will be sending him to the G League just so he can progress a little bit better. Uh, he probably won't progress as well if I didn't send him in the G League. So this is what we got. We got Chris Dunn, Zach Levine, Denzel Valentine, Laurie Markkinen, Robin Lopez, Bobby Portis, Wanda Carter, you, Justin Holiday, and Jerry and Grant, which is exactly the rotation I want. But besides this part, I actually want Wendell Carter Jr. And I kind of want Wendell Carter Jr. getting some significant minutes. Uh, let's go 14, 25. And then Wendell Carter Jr., I want him getting like 30. Val Chris Dunn, Zach Levine is our number one guy. So I want him getting some significant minutes as well. So that'll work with me. Uh, maybe Laurie Monarchin just a little bit more. And Zach Levine, I want you to be the number one guy around here. I want you to go score the ball at will. Uh, so hopefully that uh, turns into uh, some nice scoring from Zach Levine. But other than that, we'll see how Wendell Carter Jr. does his first season. Hopefully he brings some... Uh, nice uh nice role playing to the center position or oh, i guess not really role playing but some nice uh you guys know what i mean but i'll see you guys at the end of the season at the end of the season Wendell carter jr does make the all rookie first team so i'd love to see that other than that mohammed bamba trey young michael porter jr mikhail bridges and kevin knox guys i'm so excited for free agency it's like five to six days away and we're also in the playoffs, so which is cool. But yeah, free agency is going to be awesome. Zach Levine led the way with 26 points per game, which I love to see. That is awesome. Exactly what I want to see from Zach Levine. 26 points. What a Carter Jr. with 14 and a half, almost 14.7 points and eight rebounds, two blocks per game, which is absolutely awesome as well. Marked in 13, Zinzel Valentine in 11, 11, 10. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so we are the eighth seed. Uh, something I it is definitely something I could see out of Zach Levine next season. So I'm not really shocked that he had that many points. But do you guys think the Bulls have a chance of even being in the playoffs next season? Or do you guys think it's way too early? Uh, for me, I think it might be a little too early. But I think uh, they can make some noise next year for sure. Because their team is nice and young. They have a nice starting five now. So I think they, I think they should be pretty good. Uh, especially if they do re-sign Zach Levine. And the Raptors finally win a champion. All right. Well, win a championship. Uh, although I think the Raptors could look a little bit different uh, going into next season. We'll just have to see about that. But other than that, the draft lottery, I'm not even sure if we had our pick or uh, if someone else has it. We would be, we are the, we have the 16th pick in this year's NBA draft. Staff Kining, or Staff Signing, not Staff Kining. Uh, a lot of people talk crap on uh, Fred Hoiberg. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just because he's a terrible coach or not, but I don't really know much. Of, I don't know a lot about him, so... Uh, you know what as far as a coach John Smith is looking pretty intriguing. I just want to sign a decent coach, I guess so Let's see if John Smith. All right, so John Smith's our head coach now. All right So the NBA draft one of the most most common names you can ever hear so the NBA draft Let me turn trades back on uh, I usually never turn them off for the first season because I do usually stop the trade deadline, but I did not this time so other than that We'll look at this team. We got Zach Levine, uh, Laurie Markman, Chris Dunn, Bobby Portis, Wendell Carter Jr., Robin Lopez, Chandler Hutchison up to a 76 overall. Love to see that. Denzel Valentine, Justin Holiday. So we do have uh, some free agents here and there. I think uh, Robin Lopez will be a free agent. Bobby Portis will be a free agent. Justin Holiday and Cameron Payne will be free agents. So I think we'll let Justin Holiday walk. Robin Lopez is walking. Bobby Portis. We're gonna have to make a decision on I would like to do a sign-in trade with Bobby Portis if possible But I don't know and then Amir Oshik has a player option which he probably won't be declining that unfortunately He'll probably opt in just because he doesn't play at all like this man I don't think has played for quite a while so kind of sucks, but what can you do Cristiano Felicio? Has a pretty hefty contract for not playing at all either which kind of sucks But what can you do like I said NBA draft we have to have the 16th pick though which I think we could use the 16th pick right now and attach Cristiano Felicio with it. And I think a team would be easily take that on because it's not like his contract is horrible, but it's not a contract that someone's just going to take without, you know, getting some value, like getting something in return. So Beverly, 
for two years, 9.69 mil, probably not. Kyle Anderson, for one season, they want to give me Miles Plumlee's contract. Kelly Olenek, for one season, Courtney Lee, Luol Deng, Kenneth Reed, Wilson Chandler. I wouldn't mind taking on Kenneth Reed, but Wilson Chandler, is it? That actually isn't too bad of a trade, now that I think about it. Kenneth Reed and Wilson Chandler, they get another first rounder out of it though, lottery protected, but I don't want to do that. I'll give you Cristiano Felicio and a first rounder for Kenneth Freed and Wilson Chandler. Sure, why not? Uh, it's a nice veteran presence on our team. They give me a second rounder. How about I give you a second rounder and they just want two more second rounders, I guess. Well, not that I would actually do this trade in real life for that many picks just for Kenneth Freed and Wilson Chandler, but since it is just a game, I'll do this. Although, I'm not sure if trading the 16 pick, like you get some, you know what? Let's screw that. Screw that. Let's just make, let's just make our pick here. I was thinking about just trading away Cristiano Felicio, but I'll just leave him. He's only, he's only eight mil per season. It's not horrible, but you know, like I said, I would like a little bit more money out of it, but 16 pick, you might be able to get some value uh, here in this year's draft. Uh, I really, like I said, I usually hate this year's draft, but Robert Covington for the 16 pick. Wow. Honestly, guys, I might do this because Covington would be the ideal 3 and D guy that we could really use uh, to complement this team. Marcus Morris wouldn't be too bad either, but I do like Robert Covington a lot. Chandler Hutchinson, DeAndre Jordan, Chandler Parsons, James Johnson, Derek Favors, Ennis Cantor, Jonathan Simmons, Luca. Is that Luca Doncic's brother? No, probably not. All right, Kenneth Reed, Daniel Gafford, uh, Blake Griffin. Wow. For the 6th mythic and Chandler Hutchinson. How tall is Chandler Hutchinson? He is 6'7". So I guess we could potentially move him to the 3 if necessary. But I probably won't be doing that. But I like this Robert Covington trade. Now, if I can attach Christian Felicio in this trade as well, I will do this with a, in a heartbeat. They agree. So let's go. Robert Covington on the Chicago Bulls. I think that is a nice pickup for the Bulls going forward. So the 76ers select... Keldon Johnson. So they must really like Keldon Johnson out of Kentucky. All right. So good for them. They got Keldon Johnson. Other than that, I think we uh, made a nice trade. I'm not going to lie. I think it was a pretty good trade. And then no rookie signings. Obviously, because we just traded away. Like I said, Amir Ashik does accept his stupid player option. But after this season, we won't have to deal with him anymore. Lori Marketing, Chris Dunn, and Denzel Valentine. Let's all accept them. Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Buller, all the client. Cameron Payne. Probably gonna renounce you, but Bobby Porter. If I can do a sign-in trade, possibly with you, that would be ideal. So, uh, although, let's see what else we got. Robert Covington for 10 mil. Chandler Hutchinson. All right. So, I'm curious about this. What would Chandler Hutchinson look like at the three? All right, he stays the same. So, probably we'll just have him as the backup shooting guard, uh, backing up Zach Levine this off or this season. Chris Dunn. All right. I'm just looking at that. well, a team that Robert Covington. And uh, Denzel Vonta and Laurie Markkinen, Wendell Carter Jr. still will be the center. What does he look like at the center? He goes he goes down. But, you know, I'm just going to officially move him to the center position just because uh, I, just, I just like the way it looks better. So, Wendell Carter Jr. at the center. Laurie Markkinen at the par forward. All right. So, this team is uh, starting to look really good, if you ask me. Uh, like I said, if we could do a sign-in trade, possibly to get a... Uh, Although we really don't need to grab anything, maybe a backup center. And how much money do we have this offseason? Like, we probably have a lot, honestly. So, let me see after we renounce uh, Robin Lopez, Justin Holiday, Cameron Payne, and Paul Zipser. We have 27 mil in cash space, and all of our positions are basically filled. I don't think we really need anyone. Yes, it would be great to get someone, but I don't think we ideally need anyone. Maybe to make this point guard position just a little bit better, possibly. Lori Denzel Valentine, Lori Markinen. Oh, we could use some backup bigs, I guess. That that's something we should uh, look into. All right. So, as far as one, it's just a simple backup center or something. Dwayne Dedman for eight eight years, two million wouldn't be too bad in my idea. But as far as uh, Rashawn Holmes would be nice as well. Four four. 4.4 or 4.55 mil. That's not too bad. Kimmel Walker, Eric Bledsoe. I just kind of look at the point guard situation. Not not any point guards I really want. 
out of free agency. I mean, Kyrie Irving would be nice, but I don't think Kyrie Irving's coming to the Bulls anytime soon. Devin Booker, who I think will be pointing the point guard for the Phoenix Suns this offseason or this coming season, because it seems like the Bulls or the Suns are about to uh, actually renounce Alfred Payton's rights. So I think uh, Devin Booker will be playing the point guard for him, which I might be doing a rebuild over the Suns soon. So look out for that. Other than that, guys, I mean, Isaiah, I've heard rumors about Isaiah Thomas coming to the Bulls, but I don't want to do that, honestly. So let's see what we got so far. Rashawn Holmes does accept, so we'll go ahead and bring him in as a backup center. That would be nice. All right. Bobby Portis, where are you? He usually does get an offer. Could I possibly do a sign and trade with Bobby Portis? I don't know what team could want him. Maybe a rebuilding team. I mean, like the Clippers would be interesting. Uh, they have Shy Gilgis Alexander for their future. Memphis Grizzlies, could they want Bobby? No, they got Jaron Jackson Jr. already. The Atlanta Hawks, could they give me Dennis Schroeder? No, nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, nah, I'm just kind of looking at the options here just to make the video a little bit more entertaining. Just uh, Aaron Gordon. I'm just not ideally seeing a situation where I want to do a sign in trade. So I guess I'll just leave it. So let's just see if Bobby Portis uh, accepts uh, another offer and then we'll see if we'll match. We get Rashawn Holmes as a backup center. And if we get Bobby Portis back, is prepared to offer, prepare to uh, accept an offer. I could match, but if I'm the Chicago Bulls, I'm not paying Bobby Portis 20 mil, not doing it. So, bye, Bobby Portis. Although, he just became an unrestricted free agent now. All right, so, the Bulls will have plenty of cash space to do whatever they want with after the season. But, for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I think this team is trending definitely in the right direction. So, I'm very happy with the way this team is looking. And then, as far as the training camps go... We're probably uh, just auto-generate the rookies. We're not be doing another season. As far as training camps go, we got Chandler Hutchinson. Let's give you some potential. And then let's see how this rotation is about to look. I think it's about to look really good. So we got Chris Dunn, Zach Levine, Robert Covington, Laurie Markin, and Wendell Carr Jr., Denzel Valentine, Rashawn Holmes, Chandler Hutchinson, and Jerry and Grant. That's exactly the way I want it, except for just do a nine-man rotation. So awesome. It looks awesome. All right. I still want Zach Levine as the number one scoring option, and then everybody around that is fair game. I still would like Zach Levine to get a little bit more minutes, though. So, uh, 31. I, I, I want him getting more minutes than Laurie Markkinen, to be honest. So, uh, if we can make Zach Levine around 35 minutes, that would be ideal. So, all right. So, Zach Levine, 35 minutes. All right. So, I like that. That's the way it's going to look. All right. So, I can deal with that. Other than that, guys, I'm going to turn trades off. Let's see how this team finishes out. I think this team is going to be very, very good, uh, definitely for the future. And uh, let's see if we make the playoffs again. All right, guys, we're the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference this year. And I decided to actually give some contract extensions out just because I thought it would be interesting. I gave, uh, where are you? Uh, I gave uh, Chris Dunn a contract extension just because I think that it, it is a big possibility that Chris Dunn uh, it turns out to be better than he already is and then you have him locked up So I decided to do that. I also have Denzel Valentine locked up for a few more seasons as well Which is awesome if you ask me and then Laurie Markkinen is gonna be due for a contract extension soon But yeah, definitely locking up some of the nice core players here Robert Covington is also locked up here for a while So great pickup I think by getting Robert Covington But as far as the player stats went Zach Levine's stats are a little bit down but 18 points Laurie Markkinen with 15 one of with 13, Robert Covington with 11, and then Denzel Valentine with 9, 8, and yeah, so not too bad. Let's just see if we can get past the Cavaliers, which they have the MVP LeBron James, so I seriously doubt we'll get past them, and we probably will get swept again. All right, no, we're, we win one, so that's cool. Let's see if we can um, win one again. I doubt it, but you know what? Crazier things have happened, so... We are giving up a good fight, but we do get eliminated by six points. Nori Mark didn't love the way with 25, 22, 18. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have LeBron James. Colin Sexton didn't play too bad either. So, other than that, guys, I do appreciate you guys for watching. I would like you to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comment section below what 
draft rebuild you guys want to see next we're going to continue doing these draft rebuilds until more significant news comes out towards free agency and then we'll be doing some free agency rebuilds so my channel is about to get lit guys so thank you guys once again this is crushables and i'm saying peace